Hello and welcome to Series 3 of The Lowdown, the official Download Festival TV show. We're here for the next hour to talk all things download. We've got a whole load of goodness coming up, but there's no time for that now. Here's our first Lowdown Certified Rager. That was Bring Me The Horizon, who will be bringing the noise to the main stage on the Saturday of this year's Download Festival. Whew, what a way to kick off the show and to kick off Series 3. We've got so many bands on this series, it's going to be wicked. It is really, really good this year, Like even though it just says it there and I have to read it. It is actually really, really good. Trivium, Killswitch Engage, Fallout Boy, Sixth, Crossfaith and a shed load more. But more importantly, on today's show we've got special guests, Steel Panther. I went out there and this girl was holding up a sign that said, I want to... Michael Starr. <laughs> Sorted, right? That'll do it. And, and I was like, all right, I'm home. <laughs> I, I didn't know that your mom got tickets. <laughs> yes. Actually, it was your girlfriend, dude. <laughs> your mom, right. Same chick. <laughs> still, God, that's gross. <laughs> and we catch up with Miss May I, who will be opening up the festival on the main stage on the Friday. So you were saying it's going to be more people than the population of where you're from. Yeah, for sure, like <laughs> multiple times. That we're from a 20,000 like capacity little town. So right. It's like. <laughs> Welcome back to The Lowdown, the official Download Festival TV show with me, Bees. Time to catch up with Michael Starr and Stick Zadinia from Steel Panther. Sorry for covering up all the fucking swearing. We'll get the unedited version up on Download YouTube later in the fucking week. It says bitches, but I'm going to say cunts, because we can. Stix and Michael from Steel Panther on The Lowdown. Dude, it's good How's to it be going? here, What's man. Up? What's up? So, it's been forever since we've seen you. What's the best thing you've been doing with your time off? I just want you to know, I'm not trying to rock star out with the glasses. It's, I got a fucked up eye. People, people it's weird. Know. It's weird. He showed me before, and like, it's just, it goes in one way, and that. Uh, so I, I, <laughs> it's crazy. If I want to get chicks, I leave my glasses on. How did How did you manage to get that doing? Well, I'll tell you what. This guy, I got in a fight with sticks. You know, just joking around. I, you know how you punch your buddy in the uh -huh. arm? He fucking hit me back, but the side <laughs> of the temple. It fucking hit me so hard, it hit my eye this way. And it hasn't been the same since. Jesus. It's fucked just, up. Nuts. Just know that I don't really mess around when it comes to playing games with your buddies. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not no, no fists being thrown. Yeah, you know, I mean, if, if you want to go, let's go. I'm, I'm not saying little, you want to go. I'm only little, man. Like, That's cool. I'm down I, with that. I learned the lesson the hard way. Ne <laughs> never fight a drummer. So They hit things for a living. <laughs> Fair point. Fair right? point. So what have, what have we been doing? Yeah, yeah. Recovering. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Anyone go to rehab? No, Lex no. Lexi looks like he's got rehab written all over him. No, Le Lexi goes to food rehab because yeah. he keeps throwing it up. The guy, I, but he's doing good. He gained uh, like two ounces. I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we measure him on a triple beam. So, it's cool. We've just been rocking, dude. We are, you know, we've been like getting ready to set up all the release for our new record, and we've been t going all over London. Went to the east side, the northwest side, the southeast side. South, the, southwest. South, southwest. We've been... We've been everywhere, dude, talking about Steel Panther. And so All You Can Eat is the name of the record. So obviously it's going to be a, con a concept record about space, time, and the universe. We're, we're a serious <laughs> band. We have a serious <laughs> message. And we want to just, you know, we're here to educate yeah. about, you know, spacey, sciencey stuff. So uh, Download Festival, we should talk about series this week. It's about, do you remember your first time at Download Festival? How could we forget? Like, I remember 2009, the tent, yeah. 5 30, 4 30, I forget. <laughs> no, it was it was early in the afternoon. Yeah. We were on the smallest stage in the whole festival on uh, Sunday, I believe, right? Yeah, uh, uh, I can't e either way, it doesn't matter what day it was. Yeah, yeah. The relevant thing to remember about the show was that for me, him and I were backstage before we went on, and the tent was full. People were chanting. I was shitting my pants, by yeah, the way. Well just, imagine. just so you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, him that, and I, him and I actually. That's bad in spandex as well, one, one, one would imagine. If you're going to shit, shit in spandex. <laughs> yes. right. yeah. There's a lot of give. <laughs> but we just had a talk, him and I, before we went out. We, I, I said, dude, I go, I'm nervous, man. He goes, so am I. And I go, what are we going to do? And he goes, let's just go kick ass. I'm like, okay. But we're like doing it, talking like this. <laughs> yeah, you can't breathe right. <laughs> deep, deep breath. I, I'm no bullshit. You cannot breathe correctly when you're going on for the first time at download because I remember as we were getting uh, carted to the stage, I looked out. There wasn't that many people for the band before us. Right. I, I don't remember who it was, but and oh, like, it was uh, it was uh, oh, I forget too. I, um, that's how. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I remember going. <laughs> oh, no, it was you, me, at six. Oh yeah, no <laughs> one was there for those guys. Right. Uh, <laughs> And I remember going, oh, man, we've come all the way to the UK and there's nobody's going to be here for us. 
I went, came back to these guys and started just going, oh, man. And then we heard, started hearing the crowd kind of start boiling a little bit. And then we heard, Panther, Panther. <laughs> That's when I started breathing fucked up. I'm yeah, like, I bet. Oh, my God. And I went out. My mouth was all dry. So was mine. Dude, I was like, and I was shaking. So I'm like, just the only thing I was thinking the don't only thing, fuck don't fuck up. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, right. manage it. I, I was thinking, just lip sync good. You yeah, know? <laughs> just sing. Remember what the words on the tracks are. You know what made me feel comfortable is I went out there and this girl was holding up a sign that said, "I want to fuck Michael Starr." <laughs> That's so it. Right. That'll do it. And I was like. All right, I'm home. I, know, I didn't know that your mom got tickets. <laughs> yes. Actually, it was your girlfriend, dude. <laughs> your mom, right. Same chick. <laughs> You're still, that's gross. <laughs> so, uh, last time you were here, you had like Corey Taylor came out and that kind of thing. Is that something that you discuss with people beforehand or on the day? Yeah, that or? Was, Corey Taylor did that just because he gets nervous too. Right. And he's like, well, if you guys want me to sing, I need to know so I can fucking get myself ready for it. So we finally, because this is like three or four shows prior to this, we've like been on the same festival, was like, come up yeah. and sing, it just didn't work out. And it so happens it works out in the festival for one of our biggest crowds yeah. we ever played in front of, and we filmed it, and it just was epic. And yeah. like, uh, how's the live show progressed? Because like, this is like th album cycle number three. I can't believe you just said that, yeah. pertaining to Steel Panther. It is. It I is, mean, man. everyone, a lot of people out there thought we were just a one-trick pony. Nah. We're on our third cycle, it's bitches. Serious. One big giant <laughs> fucking trick. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we are. Yep. No, you, you know what, we're, I think uh, this tour that we're doing, um, and I think Download, we're going to bring a lot more production. Oh, amazing. We're, you know, and we're talking about, you know, confetti, cannons. giant screens. Screen cannons. I'd like to bring some smoke. I'd like to bring some tigers. You strike me as a band that would do some badass inflatables. Dude, we, you know. Giant wang. Well, you way, know what? To, way to give it away. Yeah. No, oh, actually, really? actually, someone's already done all that inflatable yeah, Tenacious yeah, yeah. D did all that. So oh, yeah, of course. We're going to steer away from the inflatables, and we're really, we really just rely on the band. And, and the in. crowd. We rely right. on the crowd. Yeah. And, you know, we feel like if we spend most of our money on the video screen and all the cameras, we can really get closer to the audience Killer. and interact with them. And I, get a, I have a little cam for myself, and it's just... It's a titty cam. Nice. It's we, nice. And we stole it directly from Motley Crue. Uh -huh. we're, not, we're not ashamed because they already packed it up and stopped playing anyway. So man, it's our turn man. to Someone, take over the titty cam. Someone's got to take the flame and run. I mean, I know it's an Olympic kind of thing, but you know what? <laughs> we're going to do it. We're taking it. We're the last band. We are the last band. Do you want to introduce the band to being beautiful? No, this is a second take because I botched it the first time and I got the song title wrong. Yeah, so you're going to so get it awesome, right this dude. time. You I, know we're Steel Panda, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Steel Panda, right? Awesome. Steel Panda. Steel yes. what? No, Pander. Real Panda. Steel Panzer. Steel Panda. <laughs> Panther. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. They, they got good weed out here. They did. It's pretty sweet. Steel <laughs> Panther's new song, The Burden of Being Wonderful. Check it out. And they're going to answer your questions later on. Stick around. Yeah, don't be a dick. <laughs> Time for a wee break now. Wee break or like wee break. Oh, you can take it either way, especially if you're from Scotland. Don't go anywhere. I catch up with Miss May I Cross Faith kick off their festival tips of the week and we'll be giving away one pair of VIP tickets to the mighty Download Festival in the Downloads Big Ten. See you after this. Hello and welcome back to The Lowdown. It's our favourite part of the show, part three. Yes! Not that I've got anything against the other parts. No, of course, it's the Down Lowell's Big Ten. The best competition ever. Ever, ever? Ever, ever. We give a stupid scenario on the Scuzz Facebook, you give us a stupid answer and the best one wins. Okay, so this week we asked, what would you do if you came back to your tent and Linkin Park's Chester Bennington was sat there eating all your food? Greedy bugger. Stranger things have happened at Down Low, trust me. Here we go, in at number 10, Eddie Schwing Robinson says, I jump up on stage and sing his songs. He steals my shit, I sing his shit. Seems reasonable to me. Number nine, James Madden says, roundhouse kick him in the face and say, never take food from a fat kid. Then lick him, because he's famous. Number eight, Tabitha Pashalis says, Chester, when I said take everything from the inside and throw it all away, I didn't mean it so literal, wicked. Number seven, Nicole Kinsella says, I'd go home, take his mother out for a nice seafood dinner and never call her again. Number six, Danny Patterson says, beat his ass with a tent pole. I don't even know what that means. Number five, Jade Goodwin says, hey Chester, what is orange and doesn't belong to you? Nacho cheese. I think that he's put that in on purpose, because it's his 
favourite joke. Number four, Samuel Owen says, Chester, you little pester, said like your nan. Yeah. Number three, Laurie Keems Kemsey says, beat him with download dog's boner, did you mean bone, and send him out crawling, expressing my points of authority. Number two, Adam Martin says, I would open up the tent, go one step closer to him, give him a paper cut, and then I'd run away because in the end, he is a food thief. That's good. But at number one, Nick Smith, to the tune of Breaking the Habit, says, I don't know what's worth fighting for or why you have ice cream, but I now have some cups of tea while you steal my jelly beans. I don't know how you got in here, but it'll never be all right, so I'm breaking your hobnobs. I'm breaking your hobnobs. I'm breaking your hobnobs tonight. Nick Smith, congratulations, mate. You're going to download. We'll be in contact over Facebook. The rest of you... Better luck next time. Check out the Scars page to see what the next Downlogs Big Ten question is from this Thursday. Right now, it's time to see how those metal Koreans, he made that word up, not me, Miss May I are preparing for download. Let's go to them. As you can hear from the shredding behind us, there we are backstage at Brixton Academy with Levi and Ryan from Miss May I. You have never played Download Festival before. No. How psyched are you? I'm beyond psyched. I can't even imagine the crowd that big to even see it. It's going to be nuts. So you were saying it's going to be more people than the population of where you're from. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like multiple times. We're from a 20,000 like capacity little town. So right. It's like... <laughs> have you got like a preconceived notion of what you're expecting from the place as well? Because it's got all this heritage. And... You see photos of it every year from your friends who play it. But I mean, a photo is not going to... Yeah. Looking at a photo of your friend playing and then standing on stage and then being the one in charge of performing in front of that many people and not messing up, I'm sure the the weight of it will be much higher when we get there. Like we were talking before we were rolling, like you were on playing in arenas and hockey arenas with Five Finger Death Punch. Do you like playing like big, big places? Because I'm used to seeing you like in like sweat and sawdust yeah. venues. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, do you like playing like these big shows? I feel more comfortable playing the bigger shows because I can... I can make them do bigger, cooler, crazy crowd participation yeah. stuff, but um, I don't know, it's a love-hate relationship with both. It's right. like, yeah. you can't be in the crowd, but when you're in the crowd, you're like, this is way too much. My hair's getting pulled, it's too <laughs> hot. So it's, it's love-hate, but... Um, you, got, you got plans, like, I saw you guys on Warp Tour a couple of years ago, and you had everyone running around, like, circle pitting around the, uh, around the uh, mixing house, desk. Yeah. Like, have you got plans like that? And, like, yeah, I, you, I, can, I know everyone's done it, but the, you guys got the little aisle now? Yeah, the, yeah. I want to do the two circle pits, or as many as I can. Man, Devil Driver are the ones to beat every year. It's kind of, like, become download folklore that, like, Devil Driver have these huge circle okay, pits. So, like, awesome. feel, feel free to throw that out there. That is our competition. Then, New record that. is done. It is called... Rise of the Lion. And uh, Terry Date has done it. Like I, I know how big metalheads you guys are. How many Pantera stories did you get out of it? Oh my God, we <laughs> yeah, didn't make it. Awesome. We Anytime didn't make there was it. Downtime. It was like campfire stories. Like tell us more. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. We rolled all the gear in, and we we came in a couple separate cars. And uh, I think Levi and I got there first. And by the time the other three dudes showed up in the other car. We were already on a couch <laughs> listening to White Zombie stories. Just oh, like, oh up. my God, Any this is unreal. His whole life is just next level. It's crazy. Do, does he feel like he, he's elevated the band as well? Yeah, with uh, how we, just like how we wrote and how he put his intake, it was just, he let us, I guess, be more of us. It, it, was, it was weird. It was, it was a lot different than what we were expecting. Right. So it was nice. Like, and we, we spoke a little while ago on the phone about it for Metal Hammer. Yeah. Um, you say that there's a bit more of an extreme metal influence, particularly with your voice. Oh, yeah. There's, there's a lot of, like, black metalist stuff and, like, like in flames, like, so pitch nuts. stuff. Yeah, it was uh, stuff we were listening to. We're like, let's just do it. And he, he supported it 110%. He's like, I've never done this before. Let's go. Because so. it's weird. Because, like, I think most people associate Terry Date, especially at the moment with, like, the last Bring the Horizon yeah, yeah, record yeah. and, like, Deftones and things like that. Like so, he you you like took it to the to the to the harder, heavier side. It's not been a like a watered down in any way. His or... his comment, the way we recorded it is the songs were pretty much done musically when we got there. They right. didn't change a lot. We rewrote them and worked so hard on them that they were pretty much <laughs> set in stone when yeah. we got there. The vocals are what we worked on a ton. So we didn't really get opinions from him until we got to vocals. It was kind of you know we were feeling kind of weird. We had the instruments done and it was right. super heavy. We finished the first track of vocals, and the first thing he said was, this is going to be a heavy record. And we were like, killer. 
It's okay, great. that's what we wanted, you know. And, and, uh, like we, you're on the road at the minute. Like this is being recorded on the Kill Switch and Trivium Co. Headline Tour. Are you throwing any new material in there yet? Yeah, yeah. one new song. Oh, like, killer! On the team, yeah. uh, and what's that called? Gone. Are you, are you like excited to put loads of these so, so, new songs in yeah. the set as well? Is we, it a record made for like live yeah. shows? Oh yeah. oh yeah. We that was a, that was the first thing we've never like thought about it that way. So when we're writing it, we're like, okay, live. This is going to be the sickest circle pit. Or like live. Oh, this is where that wicked. happens. So it was nice. So Rise of the Lions is the record, yep. and you're going to be putting plenty of that in there by the time you reach us in June at Download? Oh yeah. Last night was the first time we played a new song, and it's always scary playing new songs. So when they actually go over well the first time you play them, where it just makes you that much more stoked Ooh, to put you them in. So. before you went in. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier, though. <laughs> the intro, like the click start, I was like, yeah. here we go. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. it's either they're going to hate it or they're not going to. Yeah, like, so and, uh, so uh, have you got an idea of what download will be like as well? Like having seen the pictures and all those kind of things? Yeah, I only know it from DVDs. Like <laughs> all the DVDs. Is, is there anyone, anyone that particularly yeah. stands out? Because like, a load of people always say the ACDC one. Mine's the Asley Dying one when he does the chug off stage and you hear the crowd. I'm like, holy <laughs> I'm like, that's yeah, enough. we did, um, when we were at the studio, the, Terry had this channel at the studio that played tons and tons of uh, music festivals, and there had to be a download one, like, probably every third show or something. Yeah, so crazy. Uh, Slipknot one was pretty freaking oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. Still, you probably got to actually go to but that Yeah, one. it was, it was like, hands down, the best outdoor show I've ever seen. Like, yeah, that, that duality when the crowd joins in was, like, nothing else I've ever seen. Yeah. So... No, pre no, no, yeah, pressure, no pressure for Download Festival of June, Miss May I. <laughs>We'll see you after the break where Steel Panther will be answering your fan questions. But before you go, here's one of many key festival tips we fully endorse. Pay attention now, here's Crossface Ken and Hiroki. Don't go to the wrong festival. Done, done. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. More of those next week, see you in four. Hello and welcome back to the final part of the Lowdown, your one-stop shop for all things Download with me, Bees. Let's dive straight into your fan questions. Here's Steel Panther. Welcome back to the Lowdown with Steel Panther. They're going to be answering your questions. Ben Gilly says, what vegetable or fruit does Michael put down his trousers to get ladies? Vegetables or fruits do not work. They I ferment. They yeah, ferment now, and, and they're very weighty. They, they're heavy. And my spandex are a light gauge spandex, just so you can see all the form that girls <laughs> like to see. So I like to use a sock. Sock okay. and, and uh, can I say dirty words? Yeah, do it. Sock and cock. It's a new thing. It's called a nice. scock. It connects <laughs> nice. right on there. a sock and cock. No, that's the older version. It's a new one. Just oh, this is V2? V2 scock. <laughs> that's hot. It's bitching. I got Because chicks will grab you while you're performing, and it still feels like... Your package. That's pretty bitching. Because if they grab on the fruit, they're like, hey, that's a banana. Yeah. It c kills the illusion. And it, or maybe she'll just think that she's actually squashed your, yeah. squashed your dong. You should, you, <laughs> that's a good band name too. Squash, squash dong. dong. Squash dong. Squash dong. <laughs> Please welcome Squash dong. <laughs> oh, balls. Katie Rose 5 says, how'd you get out of the friend zone? You can't. No way out. Once you're, once a friend, you're, once you're friends with a chick, you're Fucked. There's no such thing as getting out of a friend zone. No way. I, unless you drug her. <laughs> Amazing. I guess roofies will do that. <laughs> hey, well, it works for Lexi. Michael Stephen Doris says, if you could play a Scuzz Festival, which bands would you invite to play on that bill? Ooh, that's a good, solid, awesome question. Probably I would have Van Halen open. Panther would definitely headline. Yeah. Van Halen or Van Hagar? Uh, probably Van Halen. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. I would I would force Motley Crue to come out of not yes. touring. Yeah. yeah. To yeah it's open. a legal document as well. So I would, I would did do something to supersede that. I don't know if you're <laughs> aware of this, but we just signed a contract with our lawyers. Yep. We Stay had one drawn up. Yeah. Well, we didn't even know Crew was doing mm. this, but we did a, a contract just because we're so committed that says states we will never stop touring and we'll never stop fucking bitches. And we signed it. And it's legal and you can't break a legal It's document. punishable by death and it's by stoning the, the other guys. You're actually going to have rocks thrown at you by the other three members, which is going to take a long time because right. Lexi has horrible aim. <laughs> Eddie Schwing Robinson asks, could you deck a horse with one punch? Oh, mm. I imagine you'd have to hit it right in the temple. 
There's got to be, there's gotta be a sweet spot on. There's got to be. A, there's a sweet spot on every living thing. Yeah. I imagine it would be right. Right. If I was ever gonna try to just lay out a horse, it would be right in front of the ear. You'd at least make his eyes wonky. Oh, I've, I've been go. doing it for years. <laughs> like this. <laughs> right this there. The Bam! Oh God. Oh, that's what happened. It sucked. <laughs> Bradley Cassidy asks, what's the weirdest thing someone's given you backstage? Herpes. Nice. That's not weird. That's common for you. <laughs> I get, well. The weirdest thing I ever got really was a voodoo doll of myself with needles. Did you feel bad afterwards? No, I, I <laughs> threw the needles away and just kept the doll just for, you know, yeah, yeah. souvenir thing. But it was creepy, man. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Had, for somebody to take the time to make a doll out of you, and I wasn't even in Asia. This was like... Was it real voodoo? Yeah, dude. That's crazy, man. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's fucking gnarly, yeah. I, you, I was like, no way, bro. You fucking made a doll of me, bro. Dude, totally. I love you guys. Uh, you love me so much, you want to kill me. I wouldn't want to kill you. I want you to have the doll so <laughs> nobody could do anything bad to it. Ah, uh, Sarah Joy asks, I love the volume in your hair, so much bounce and shine. What's your products of choice? Well, I use only Nexus. Nexus? I use Paul Mitchell. <laughs> Okie doke. Cordelia Green Beach says, uh, which country has the hairiest women? <sighs> Woo. Probably the Middle East. Yeah, I guess. I was hoping you were going to say France. They have bad, bad low back hair Yeah. in, in I, the Middle East. I went out on a date with one girl once. That's weird, right? And she, she was wearing kind of a loose high shirt, and she was wearing low pants, and she bent over to get something, and I looked at her, the small of her back. It was dark and coarse hair. I yeah. was like, Sasquatch. I was like, you fucked up. You just ruined the whole date. Yeah. You got to <laughs> wax that off. Shouldn't have bent over like that. Final question. Wayne Ramsey asks, do you backcomb your pubes as well? Wayne Rooney asked us a question. <laughs> Wayne Ramsey. That's amazing. <laughs> he can't speak properly. Wayne um, Rooney, that's so cool, dude. <laughs> dude. Let me tell you something. If you're brushing your pubic hairs, they're way too long, bro. <laughs> dude, you, yeah, right? you want to be, a, you want to manscape, bro. You want to handle it down yeah, there. Yeah, dude, nobody wants to go down and fucking wrestle with ZZ Top. <laughs> nope. never, never gone full Brazilian? I'm, no, no. I'm, I, that's I, brutal. Honestly, I am full Brazilian right now. You got a wax job? Oh, no, that's, that that's a Brazilian wax. No, I'm fully shaved. I'm fully handled. Uh, I'm but not dude, at all. I haven't shaved in probably two months. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that's the opposite of Brazilian. <laughs> well, I'm the opposite. <laughs> dude. I'm but, Harry Potter downstairs. It looks like a mushroom and tall grass down there, bro. Yeah, it's, it's difficult because I want to cut it off, but I don't have scissors, and I was contemplating using my Mach 3 razor. Ooh, that's take, a risky proposition. Take way too long. <laughs> yeah, dude, I went with clippers on the strip. The, the, Except for I got my nut caught in oh, the shit hurts. And, I, and I nicked my nut. Uh, that's a good name for a fucking record. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking, what was it, Dong Gobbler? Uh, what was it? Whatever you do in your spare time, man. Angel Dong, <laughs> nick my nut. <laughs> Steel Panther will be playing the main stage on the Sunday of this year's Download Festival. How cool is that, dude? Um, yeah, main stage. Stage. I can't believe that we're doing this. I'm, I'm so fucking excited, for what, real. What, the interview? Everything. Oh, okay. The fact that we're here, the fact that we're playing Download, dude. two bands before Aerosmith, what band's gonna do that on Sunday this year? Us. <laughs> there you go, see you there, Sunday, Download Festival. Ow!